Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Apologies in advance if my voice sounds a little hoarse. I was at game three of the Canes Preds Stanley Cup playoff game last night and I screamed my head off in that double OT thriller winner. Anyway, uh, what I have for you guys today is I have designed a new set of jerseys. Um, I have called this the two-toned set and I have even come up with my own logo for this set of jerseys. Here we are, as you can see, the two and the T for two-toned. So the entire theme of this entire jersey set is that I was only allowed to use two colors per jersey. I know some people love these kind of concepts and some people hate them. So I'm interested to see what everybody thinks about them. Some of them were hard to design. Some of them are pretty easy. Some teams like Edmonton already use a two-tone uh, color scheme and teams in the past like Pittsburgh and Philly have used specialty jerseys and have done two-tone. I actually think they look pretty sharp. Um, I would like the league to use them more. So that's kind of my incentive to design this whole jersey set. So without further ado, let's get started. These are in alphabetical order. First up, we have Anaheim. So I kind of just went with what they were already rocking with and uh, just deducted every color except for black and orange. Uh, I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, really sharp, I think it would stand out nice in the ice. It almost gives me the same vibes as like the Dallas Stars new third jersey, the black and green. Um, very similar, but I, I think it looks really good. Next up, we have the Arizona Coyotes. This one, I really went back and forth with. It was really hard to find two colors that work together, you know, between purple and burgundy and desert colors and black and white. You know, I, I didn't want to make this whole jersey set to be black and a color, because that is so easy to do. I feel like it was a cop out. So I understand that this one probably would have looked better, maybe like black and purple or black in that desert color. But I went with the purple in the desert color just to be a little different. I think it turned out pretty okay. Next up, we got the Boston Bruins. It's really hard to screw up a Boston jersey. They're such a historic franchise with great looking jerseys, honestly. Um, I kind of think that the B is usually too big on their jerseys, so I opted to make it a little bit smaller. Very simple striping. You notice this isn't quite black and it's not quite brown. It's kind of like this little in-between. And I put the, uh, the little bear eyes in the neckline. I thought that that looked pretty good. Next up, we have the Sabres. I went for a really clean looking, very simple jersey. The royal blue looks good. So I thought, hey, let's just deduct the white, do some really simple, almost like stadium series-esque sleeve striping. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And put the little uh, Buffalo flag symbol on the neckline. Pretty solid looking jersey. Next up, we got the Calgary Flames. Uh, they already have some pretty minimal two-tone-ish jerseys. Like if you took the yellow stripe away from like their current home set and recolored the C to be white, I mean, you would essentially have what I have right here. Um, but yeah, so I just took out the yellow, made it uh, black and, or sorry, made it white and red. I fear that this looks a little too Detroit-ish. If I could go back and change it, I would probably do yellow and red, but the reason I didn't do that is because I thought it looked a little too McDonald's. So this was one that I struggled to find a color set that worked. Next up, we got the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, usually my second team to root for, but this year they're my mortal enemy since uh, there is currently a playoff series going on between the Preds and the Canes. However, I'm a big fan of when they use that flag. You know, but it doesn't make sense when they just use one because the hurricane warning is two flags. So I really tried to like lean into that. I feel like it makes it look a little busy, but uh, I knew they had a stadium series coming up. So I kind of designed this jersey in mind that it would be like a stadium series jersey. And I think for that reason, it looks pretty good. But I think if it was like a normal jersey, maybe even a third, it like doesn't work. But for something kind of crazy and wacky, like a stadium series, I think it'd be fine. Chicago Blackhawks. Um, Really, I just went with their winter classic jersey and I just made it black and red, or red and black rather, um, than black and white. And I think it turned out pretty okay looking. Um, it's definitely kind of muddied. I feel like the red makes it kind of hard to see the details. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's the theme of the set, two-toned. You know, I just kind of had to do something to match the set. So this is the best I could come up with. Next up, we got the Colorado Avalanche. So yeah, I just kind of tried to take away the silver that they use. Um, and I did not quite realize how much that silver really helped break apart the jersey. Uh, and I, I know it's partially because of the way this template works. The lighting on the logo really makes the colors don't look like they are separated very well. I even tried flipping the colors, like making the burgundy on the top and the blue in the middle. And that like really didn't look like an avalanche jersey. So at some point you can't deviate so far away from the original design in a set like this, 
you know, it, I kind of designed this whole set thinking like reverse retro. Like, let's make an entire set for the whole NHL on one kind of theme here. So doing that, I did not want to deviate too far off their current brand guidelines or do something so crazy that it could be like a third jersey or even like a rebrand. So here we are with this one. It, it's probably not the most exciting jersey in the set, but it accomplishes what the theme is asking for. And it looks interesting. I just think it's not different enough where people would want it. Yeah, so, you know, it, this this one was difficult. This one and Calgary were probably the most difficult ones to design. Chicago is like an honorable mention. Columbus Blue Jackets. I mean, I, pre I feel like every concept I do for Columbus Blue Jackets is like that off-white cream color, Canon logo, and that sweet blue. Um, this one in particular looks pretty awesome. I have a high confidence level that if this one were to go to market, it would probably sell a lot. Uh, only thing I think that they would probably do, because you saw this issue with the Toronto Reverse Retro, is they probably wouldn't do the same color letters as the jersey. They would probably flip it. Maybe do like a double stroke where it's like uh, blue, white, and then blue again or something. I don't know. I personally just like the way it looks like that, where it's outlined. I, th I think that's always a sharp look. Next up, we got the Dallas Stars. So plain and simple, I took their third jersey and reversed it. Honestly, it looks pretty badass. I'm not a Dallas fan, you know, big Preds rival, but designing this jersey was pretty cool. I, I really like the way this one turned out. Um, I don't know if it would sell well, but I think it would look good on the ice. It, you could almost like take the whole game and put uh, green screen footage on it. You can make the whole Dallas Stars team look like they're in space or something. I, I think for that reason alone, it would be pretty awesome. Next up, you got the Red Wings, uh, a, a team. So you, I've discovered that with the original six teams, it's pretty tough because they're already essentially two-toned. <laughs> so for the Red Wings, I just kind of had to try to do something different. So, you know, I I went with this vertical sash. It, it was hard to find the right thickness. If I made it too thin, it did look like a sash. If I made it too thick, it just didn't look right. So I kind of settled on this sweet spot and just tried to make something a little different. Red Wings fans, I'm sorry. It's just so hard to make jerseys for you guys. So here is my best attempt on the two-tone set. So please forgive me. Next up, you got the Edmonton Oilers. Plain and simple. They already have a sweet two-tone jersey. I reversed it. In the words of Missy Elliott, I took it, I flip it, and reversed it. Florida Panthers. Uh, this one to me is like a sleeper in the set. I think the Panthers have one of the sweetest home jerseys and away jerseys in the league. And I really think they need to bring the reverse retro in as a third. People love that jumping cat logo. Um, Cause if they're not gonna do Miami Vice, and I've had I've had a couple people reach out to me and say, you know, the Panthers aren't a Miami team. They play in South Florida, but it's not Miami. So they, they don't wanna do the Miami Vice thing. I think that's a loss personally, but I get it. You know, that'd be like if people saying Nashville needs to do uh, orange and white because they're close to the volunteers. That would be ugly. I would never buy that. Uh, so I kind of get where they're coming from. So if they're not going to do something like that, I think something like this would be really awesome. They have a great color scheme. You know, everybody uses red, white, and blue and whatever. But, you know, I like the shades of blue and the shades of red that they do use. And I feel like something like this looks pretty sharp. I think people would buy this. Got the LA Kings. Um, I'll admit this one was kind of a cop-out. I literally just took the reverse retro and got rid of any tertiary colors and just did purple and gold. But don't don't fix what's not broken, in my opinion. Uh, it, it looks pretty sharp. Um, I did like do a different design, but I didn't really like the way it looked. I essentially, and it was very similar to one I've designed before. I just took their third jersey and reoriented it and changed some logos around. I felt like I feel like everybody's done all the con concepts you can really do for the Kings without going outlandish, like a new Burger King or something. So yeah, I'll admit that this one was a little bit of a cop out, but it, it looks so good. Minnesota Wild, I really, really like the way this one turned out. It's a little uh, muddied in all the, the beigey burgundy, but man, you take that red out, they look almost look like a whole different team, but I like the way it looks a lot. I, I'm a big fan of this one. In my opinion, this is one of the best in the set. Um, I think if you used that like old North Stars green here, it would look even better and you do the yellow where the beige is. I did do it, but again, it was like too similar to the reverse retro and I did not want to do like, like the Kings have too many that were that close to the reverse retro in this set. So I did it this way because it looked a little different and overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Montreal Canadiens, this is probably like top five for me. Uh, 
I was going through their jersey history and saw that like at one point in time they used this deep burgundy maroon color you know back when they were the Montreal Maroons or I think I believe that was a different team anyway Montreal hockey has used this color before and man I just thought it looked so sharp with white I, I just had to jump on it it looks really good I, I like the way this one turned out a lot I, you know I think this one would sell if they made it Nashville Predators, uh, again, I really did not want to deviate too far off the brand guidelines. Um, so three things here, Nashville needs a Navy jersey. As a Preds fan, I will fully admit it. You know, David Poyle and uh, Sean Henry, the president and owner of the Preds, the reason they switched to gold is they liked when teams are in the playoffs and you saw one color, kind of like how when you watch Winnipeg in the playoff, they have all that white in the stands. That's exactly what they wanted. And that is why we switched to gold. So keep the gold as the primary color, definitely. Make sure the fans keep wearing it in the stands, but it's not gonna hurt the franchise to have a navy jersey on the ice. The fans can still wear gold, that's fine. Um, I mean, like Winnipeg fans still wear white even when they're wearing blue at home, right? The, the fans understand what they're supposed to do. So here, I literally just took the home jersey and reversed it. Um, I took away some of the striping in between because that's usually white. And I did use the secondary shoulder patch that I redesigned because I think this looks a lot better than the NP logo. Pretty gross if you ask me, the NP logo. Yeah, so this one's pretty solid. Um, I added some laces. I feel like it was so plain without something up here. So I added some laces to it. I think it looks pretty good because you know the old uh, Navy checkered Preds alt had laces and I, I think it looks good on Navy. Next up, we have the New Jersey Devils. Took away the circle. I love the logo without the circle. Just made it red, you know, red and black. Looks pretty good. I, I know people like New Jersey on black. Uh, I've done a lot of those lately, so I really wanted to do a red one without green because I'm really bad about doing black New Jersey Devils with red and green. So I kind of wanted to, to just do something that does follow their brand guidelines. <laughs> New York Islanders. Um, I like this logo better than their old school looking logo. Um, I like the way their striping works. Simple enough, just made it, made it work current jersey remove the white add, add the logo i like plain and simple rangers so uh yeah this one was hard because you know they are like red white and blue so i found this old school jersey where they used a lot of white and i feel like if you have a all a mostly white jersey and you take away a color it's not that hard to notice so i just made sure i put the double stripes on the shoulder so you know it's like a rangers jersey and of course the iconic logo um it would be tough here for the whole uniform because again, it's supposed to be two-toned. I feel like I would want the pants to be red. It's just hard to say. This would be one of the hardest teams to do um, for the two-tone set for sure. Um, I feel like they would have to wear blue pants here, maybe a white helmet. It's hard to say. Uh, let me guys know what you think in the comments. Next up, we got the Ottawa Senators. So essentially just did their uh, reverse retro. Put the old O logo on it. Thought it turned out pretty good. It looks pretty nice. Um, I almost feel like this color red is like too deep though. Uh, I might even like this better if it was black and red instead of red and black. But overall, I think it turned out pretty pretty decent. Next up, we got the Philadelphia Flyers. So uh, they've had lots of good jerseys in their history. They all are kind of very similar looking, but they're all slightly different. So I just took some concepts and variations of old jerseys in their past, combined them together, made it two colors. Plain and simple, it looks good. It almost looks like a stadium series jersey. And here we have the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I took their home jersey and took the wide away. That's literally it. Uh, and I like to do this thing where you put the river that runs through Pittsburgh. Like I'm pretty sure this part is Pittsburgh right here. Um, I always like putting that in the neckline. I think it's a cool little ode to the city. Um, yeah, I, I think this one looks pretty good actually. Um, I had it flipped, but that was like way too close to their third jersey. So uh, I didn't want to just copy the stadium series and I didn't want to have their third jersey. So I settled on this. I think it turned out pretty good. Next up, we have the San Jose Sharks. I know there's no teal here. I know. I don't know why, but I really thought the gray looked better than the teal. <laughs> here I am like five minutes ago talking about how I didn't want to deviate from brand guidelines. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just think this looks pretty good. I feel like since they're a California team and this is black and gray, people might have beef with the fact that like the, those are the Kings colors, but whatever. Um, the teal, when you were far away from it, like if you zoomed way out, it, it you just couldn't see it that well. So I don't know. I'd, I probably made a mistake here. I'm sure people will light me up in it. And if Neil ever rates these, uh, I sent them to Neil. Uh, I'm sure 
people will disagree with my decision here, uh, but I don't know why. I just really like the way gray looked here. Um, and I did try to make the jersey teal and gray at, at first, and that that's I think that's originally why I made the accent color gray, but that just didn't work. It, it was way too muddied. Uh, it, it looked too similar. So yeah, th this is what I picked, uh, and then I'm sticking to it. That, those are my decisions. Next up, we got the Kraken. You know I'm excited for the Kraken. I'm excited about everything about the 32nd franchise. I love their jerseys. I love their color scheme. It's amazing. Uh, here we go. I, I love this jersey I made for them. Um, plain and simple, very sharp looking, amazing. This is probably top five for me in my set too. St. Louis Blues. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing special here. It just follows the set. Um, and it looks pretty solid. I'd say it's very standard, middle of the pack. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the note logo when it's uh, yellow gold. I think they should do that more. They should do that in the third jersey or something. I think I think it looks really nice. Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, I'm a big fan of when they are not white and blue like Toronto. So I like it when they're gray and blue. I think that'd be a good color scheme for them. Uh, you could even lighten this color of gray up a little bit. Uh, I just think when you're digitally doing this, uh, it it's hard to see, so I make it darker so it's easier to kind of tell what's going on. Um, but yeah, I, I think this looks pretty solid. Literally just the jersey they already have, but gray instead of white, plain and simple. Toronto Maple Leafs, again, an original six team that already uses two colors. So again, you know how we don't want these two teams to have the same color scheme. I gave them the same color scheme. Um, but yeah, you know, just make the blue silver. Um, this is almost to me like Detroit reverse retro levels of bad. I just was totally at a loss. I had no idea what to do <laughs> for Toronto for this set. So I played around with it a lot. I even tried making uh, the white blue. Uh, it just didn't really look that good. Uh, I settled on this and I, I liked the way it looked. I need you guys to know like when I do these, I don't just like make it and go, yeah, that's good. Move on to the next one. I play around with everything. I try, I try and try and try to make it work how I know people want it and I end up settling on something that I think looks the best without like doing any hockey sins, right? So yeah, uh, I'm sorry if this one is not liked by Leaf fans, um, but it is what I landed on. Vancouver Canucks, this one is hideous, ugly, I do not like it, um, but if you did it the other way around, it didn't really look good either. I didn't wanna do blue and white, cause that's what they already do. I didn't wanna do green and white, cause that was really ugly. I did. <laughs> I, mm, this is probably my least favorite one in the set. But I think from a uniqueness standpoint, it definitely is like an 8 out of 10. It looks pretty wild and out there. Uh, yeah, and uh, that, that's it. <laughs> Vegas Golden Knights. I struggled with this one. I still don't really like how this turned out. Kind of like this one. They're just so weird, right? It's, it's hard to say why. I don't know if like I used the wrong color gold here, or maybe if I should have darkened the red a little bit. Um, I tried it with white, I tried it with gray. It just looked too similar to stuff they already had going on. This almost looks like the Chinese New Year warmups they had uh, a year or two ago that people really liked. So I think that's kind of why I settled on this. Um, but yeah, this is probably near the bottom for me, kind of like the Vancouver one. This is probably like 32nd, this is probably 31st. Uh, Calgary's probably like 30th. <laughs> but yeah, I. I think it's okay, it's unique, definitely. I kinda like the Vegas head uh, red, that's interesting. I just think I didn't pick the right colors. I think the design is okay. I just think the colors weren't up to snuff. Uh, I think there's two left. So Washington Capitals, similar to the Vegas jersey, I feel like the shade of red I used or something is just off. It's so vibrant, it kinda like hurts your eyes to look at it. But they're again a team that like thrives on their triple color scheme so this one was really tough uh i almost did their third jersey and just took away a color but i feel like that was just kind of lazy um i like the way their jerseys look with like that sleeve piping that comes out of the neck like that so i really just tried uh, i think if i would redo this i would probably just do different colors maybe even pull the colors off the old screaming eagle jerseys and just apply it to this i don't know i think it turned out okay and lastly, this is probably like top five in my set too, by the way. Winnipeg Jets. Look, their their whole thing is white out. I love this Jets script jersey. I know a lot of people don't, but I, I think it's one of the best thirds ever made. And I don't even like word script logos, but man, that jersey just looks so good. 
So for me, this is a no-brainer. Make it white. This would be an awesome like playoff jersey for them to wear. It just looks really, really sharp. Um, yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it, guys. <coughs> oh, there goes that voice. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. That is the two-toned set. I hope everybody liked what they see here. And as always, there will be an Imgur link in the description with all of these jerseys in an image album that you can look at, download, react, post, whatever you want to do with them. Just make sure that whatever you do with them, you do not take away my watermark because I designed these. So please do not take that away. But yeah, that is my two-tone jersey set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, please like it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. But please, if you do dislike it, tell me why in the comments below. Don't just be a jerk. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. I've been trying to think of what to do in between these jersey concept videos because it takes a while to do a whole jersey set. You know, I'm a full-time employee not doing this. I have a child on the way, so I'm pretty busy. So it'd be hard for me to do some in-between content. But uh, I've been thinking about it. So if anybody has any care about what my opinions are, if you want me to just do like hockey news or whatever, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing this once in a blue moon. Hope it takes off eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm Nash North. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.